Hello everyone, welcome to this new presentation about the marker system. Today we are going to, to review the most important features of markers. The, the, the most usual question about what is markers is um, that it is an indicator that can execute orders and it can detect objects painted on the chart and convert those objects into orders. So, for example, if we have this setup, this is a super trend where we have an indicator that paints signals. These are arrow ups and arrow downs then we can configure markers to trade arrows an arrow blue for a long an arrow red for a short we select the account the entry type we are going to enter at market we can also set uh, daily limits for the loss and the profit. We can specify a time window. And most of the features in this section, the ATM, the long, short and manual mode, can be also set from the toolbar. We can enable long or shorts. We can enable automatic or manual. And if we, for example, go to 6 a.m., we can see an example of how we can automate the signals painted by an indicator using this ATM that we can configure on chart trader this ATM is using a big second target with a trailing stop of 12 ticks order we have a blue arrow so the system enters long it enters long if we have this button uh, enable target filled and all the control is uh, for the trader the trader can move the orders can also enable or disable Order. long and shorts target filled so it, it just read the objects and enter the market The objects that we can detect, the, the objects that markers can detect are almost almost all all them all the chart markers that are on this menu. All chart markers and also several of the for example we can detect vertical lines arrow lines so most of the indicators that paint a signal can be automated we can configure a, an object to enter long another object to enter short and also we can configure objects to close a position on this example, I am not using the exit condition. So we are entering at entering long at blue arrows, entering short at red arrows. But we can make it a little more complex. 
and we can specify the close conditions for example closing longs at yellow dots or uh, we can use the same object for long and short So now we can see at the bottom that the exit condition is the same for longs and shorts and we can disable the exit condition from the toolbar. The orders that the system executes are ATM orders as we explained on the ATM we can select three different positions each one which is our stop, target, auto break even and three different trailing stops this for each position we can save the settings with a name then select a preferred ATM and click on the toolbar to apply this ATM for our orders we can work on full automatic mode so all the signals are executed or on semi-automatic mode we can see that we have a button to change from manual to automatic in this example we were working on full automatic mode but if I change to manual and then I enable the next long the following signal will execute a long and this button will get disabled like now so the system is not going to take more trades until we enable another trade so we enable trade by trade if instead we set this to automatic then the buttons will get locked to the current position trading all the longs or all the shorts or all the longs and shorts as the first uh, example that we saw we can limit the daily profit and the daily loss so we have money management if for example currently we are on 200 and 10 of daily profit if we limit to 200 then let's go back to 6 a.m. So now I am on automatic mode taking all the trades but with a limit of 200 for the daily profit. Order filled. Target. The daily profit is not uh, bigger than the maximum, so it takes another trade. But now we have reached the daily profit, so no more trades are taken unless we change the daily limits.
we have a time windows so we can specify which is the time of the day currently it is 8.30 if we set the trading time from 8.45 then we can see it is waiting for time windows and the signals are not taken now we are at 9 so we are inside the, the time window we can specify from not, no time windows so we trace 24 hours and we have a limit of 3 different time windows We, we have two versions of markers markers light and plus um, the addition in marker plus is that uh, includes all these tools with which we can um, create our own filters and signals <coughs> We have on the plus version we have the universal signal filter we can use any indicator in our, uh, our ninja platform to we can use it as a filter we have also a universal crossover detection so we can check the crossover of any two lines and we have also the universal slope detection so any line can be um, used to check its slope to be used as a, as a filter or, or as a trigger condition for example if we want to add um, to this setup a filter for example, uh, I don't want to take all these signals, but only those that have the same slope that, than a simple moving average. So while this moving average is sloping down, I only take shorts when it is sloping up I only take longs uh, then we can use the universal slope detection to calculate the slope of this um, line and use it as a filter I have this saved as a template And now we are using the slope indicator over an SMA. We can specify any indicator on, on the slope. On this example, I am using a simple moving average of 100 but we can use any indicator installed on Ninja uh, even one that has uh, more than one line we can select which of the lines we want to use but for this example I am uh, taking the slope of a simple moving average of period of 100 Copy, cop, uh, I am copying this value into this local variable SMA50 and then on markers I can use a filter 
with uh, I want to take longs when the SMA50 is bigger than zero or shorts when SMA50 is smaller than zero. The result is that we get this, um, this indication at the top right corner that uh, shows which is the actual condition. For example, the, the, at this moment the line is sloping down, so we are short ready and longs are disabled. This long was ignored. And now the short was executed. But uh, we can do even more things on on markers. Let's say that we don't have um, target filled an indicator that paints signals. And we want to create or a one order cancelled uh, logic signal. So let's remove everything. I have an example here. Let's say that we want to... This is just an example. This is an HMA and this is the median of the Donchian channel. And we want to trade the crossovers of the HMA with the Donchian. So we need a Donchian channel. We are copying the Donchian channel, the median line of the Donchian channel into this variable. And then we have, on this example, I have two HMAs. But let, let's say we use the HMA 34. So if I, if I want to trade the crossovers of the HMA with the Donchian channel, I use the crossover between the HMA and the Donchian. Now I have a long signal when it is crosses to the upside, a short signal when it is crosses to the downside. We only need to copy the two lines that we want to check the cross. Here we have the two lines copied. And then we use the crossover to check these, those two uh, values and paint the crossover to the upside or to the downside. And on this example I am painting both. At the, bot at the bottom we can see the histogram, which is the difference between the two uh, lines. When it is positive, we are in long mode. When it is negative, we are in short mode. For this example, Remember, on this setup we are waiting for the HMA crossing over the middle of an H of a Donchian channel to enter Order long, filled. like here. And then we want to enter short 
when the HMA crosses below the Donchan channel. Like on this, on this example. Target filled. Now we are going to have a long on this order crossover. target filled. Order fill target filled. And a short. But if, for example, we want to trade the crossover of two HMAs, as you can see, I have copied both lines. I have copied the HMA 34 and the HMA, no, not this one, the HMA 36. So on the crossover, I can check the crossover of these two HMAs. And this is a much more faster setup. Each time the two lines crosses one below the other, we have an entry. We can try again. Order filled. This is a crossover to the upside. We have a long. If, if we get an inverse signal, so the, the, the lines Order cross filled. with the position already in the market, the position is closed and, the, uh, and it is reversed. So, in fact, there is no need to use a trailing stop because the, Order filled. the remaining position is reversed on the new Order when filled. we get a new signal. Order filled. Or target filled. Another filter that we can Order use, filled. as you may have noticed, is Order that, for filled. example, trading shorts below the black line, like this one, or longs above the black line, have a much better result than trading all the signals. Order filled. For example, this, this short should be avoided, but a long over the black Order line filled. Should, Target should be taken. Target filled. So using this filter, only this long, because it is over the black line, and uh, only this short, which is below the black line. So, uh, as you can see, we can create almost any logic with a few indicators. All these indicators are included on the plus version of Marker Plus. <clears throat> this is the... the the filter I was commenting, we can use any line from any indicator to create a condition. And uh, if we have more than one condition, on the examples I, I show, show it, uh, on the example I was using only one condition, but we can use the AND indicator, 
where we can join several conditions into only one. So we can create a complex logic and uh, as a result we can get a value to be used on a filter or a marker to create a signal. For more information about markers there is a playlist um, you can get the link on this PowerPoint and if you have any question please contact me thank you everyone bye bye